Have you ever thought Minecraft is a little too easy? Ever felt like a single skeleton wasn't enough of a formidable opponent that could potentially kill you in two hits? Have you ever looked at a puny creeper explosion and thought, huh, my entire house should be gone because of this? If any of these apply to you, you're in for a treat. For this challenge, I've downloaded a data pack that causes every single zombie and skeleton to spawn a full enchanted armor, an enchanted weapon, and turbo speed, because why not? At the start of the run, I also put a bunch of repeating command blocks in a force-loaded chunk so that all the mobs unaffected by this data pack will also have funky effects, but I'll explain those as we go. So with all that in mind, let's get started. At the start, I went into a nearby cave and met my first couple of mobs. Oh, there's our- oh boy. You see that? That is a zombie in full enchanted netherite armor with an enchanted netherite sword. Oh, he's not gonna burn in the sun either because he's wearing a helmet. Yeah, I think I think you might be able to see why I decided to turn on keep inventory for this run because that is every mom. I, I, I don't think this challenge will be even bearable without keep inventory. Oh no, oh no, all right, all right. And I saw two creepers there, that's even worse. You wanna know why creepers are so bad? Because with the data pack, they are basically nukes. They destroy everything in a 20 block radius in all directions, and the explosion kind of leaves cracks in the earth like 100 blocks out. But I didn't think that was bad enough. So I also decided to make them unkillable. Yeah, this one's gonna be real fun. Um, let's see, let, let's see how many hits it takes to kill this zombie. There's some crits in there too. Okay, that wasn't horrible, but it's still it's still not great. My main strat for mobs was to build a pillar and just crit them out from the top of it. The beginning of this run involved a lot of sneaking around mobs like this is a Metal Gear Solid game, and mining in this cave was a terrifying experience because at any point a mob could drop on top of me and insta-kill me. Luckily, unlike the last run, I found a decent amount of iron in this cave rather than exploring the countryside for 40 minutes and finding like two pieces. One of my main strategies for this cave was placing cobblestone to break line of sight, and after getting a whopping 47 raw iron, I dug a little hole in this iron vein to smelt my iron and have some breathing room. But, problem. My pickaxe broke, and I didn't have any wood on me, so I had to improvise a little bit. I don't have wood. Um, uh-oh. Swear to God, if something, like, traps me in here. Um, you know, let's see if I can try to remember the way here. Okay, I hope nothing is spawned on the way back. That would suck. Hey, don't notice me, please. Oh, you didn't notice me. Thank you. Oh, that's a creeper blocking the path, and that's a- Alright, no, I'm dead. How am I not dead? Oh, you know, there's probably a block, but, um... Yeah, creepers do that. That's what creepers do. I don't know how I'm alive right now. Okay, well, now I have to navigate that mess. And I saw, like, a bunch of mobs over there. So that's great. That's what creepers do, and you can't kill them. Well, I'm glad I can show you what they do in a controlled environment. Okay, Greg's still there. Hi, Greg. Okay, we're good. Almost completely ruined all of my progress, but we're fine. Instantly didn't make some armor. It's not like it's gonna do anything, but it's better than nothing. Oh no, that's the thing. Mo mobs don't drop their gear, because of course they don't. Why, why would the data pack creator allow you to pick up their gear? Oh, there's a village right there. Brilliant. This village played a huge role in this run. I'd say about half of the run was trading a bunch of villagers up to diamond gear and then enchanting it. But first, I found a blacksmith with three diamonds in it, made a diamond sword with zero hesitation, and then tamed a nearby horse. Now, not everything is bad in this challenge. Horses have speed five. That's about all we have going for us. Anyways, then I trapped all the villagers in their own houses for their own good. It's COVID. Except instead of a virus, it's a million cracked up zombies that can kill anything in two hits. Speaking of which, here's what happens when I try to fight a zombie without using the pillar strat. Oh. Oh my god, where did you come from? Oh god! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block you off with water. <laughs> Death number one. Oh my god. That guy just sprinted up to me and just instantly styled on me. Even my, my iron armor wasn't enough. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I need diamond. But like, I need enchanted diamond. Literally. Sonic the Hedgehog literally said you're too slow. Actually, no, that's probably... Why did... Why did my head drop? I'm still not sure why my head was dropping every now and then. Look, luckily this one only has full enchanted diamond armor. Thank God. I'm fully expecting to run up to my house and just find a creeper literally at the front door like a Jehovah's Witness. I'm calling it, that's gonna happen at least once in this run. I made a sugarcane farm so I could get some books later. Then I chopped down a bunch of trees to trade some sticks with this Fletcher. Hey, it's a skeleton from the intro. 
Okay, yeah. If I can knock it back with this water a little bit. Yeah, shields don't really help. My guy, what are you talking about? He did half a heart of damage. Oh, shield is definitely still good. Oh my god, he did four damage. A spider. A spider did four damage. So there's the quirk with spiders. They have strength, they have resistance, and they're invisible. Because why wouldn't they be? I might, like, go out there and build something for the villagers. Because this, this is some, this is some really pain in the ass generation to, like, actually fortify. Like, where am I gonna build a wall here? Anyways, now I'm going into this cave to find, I think it was gravel for flint, I'm pretty sure. And then this happened. Oh, damn, that just committed suicide. Oh, no. Oh, how am I alive? May I remind you, this was one creeper. Apparently I'm still alive. So, oh my god, he like created a waterfall. Oh, now the cave is flooded. So oh, that's brilliant. I think the iron that I have my sights on is just gone now. Like, reduced to atoms. I wanted to get flint so I could make arrows for the bow that I just bought from that villager. And I certainly got some flint, but then there was an unexpected twist. Was that, was that not the arrow recipe? Hold on. Since when do you not- whoa, 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 whoa. Since when is this the arrow recipe? What? Since when do you make arrows with iron and, and sticks? Huh? I beg your pardon? Huh? What? This isn't real, right? Huh? Why is that the arrow recipe? Huh? Okay. Hey, I guess. Huh? I don't- what? Huh? What in the goddamn? Huh? What? Can you tell I was confused? Apparently, the overpowered mobs data pack changes the arrow recipe to one stick and one iron ingot. Why does it do this? I have no clue. The data pack page says absolutely nothing about this, so it's anybody's guess why the data pack creator made it this way. So with this knowledge, I went back into the cave and mined up a ton of iron. After that, I caught some fish and I tamed a cat. Two, actually. The idea here was that a cat would make creepers a non-issue, given that they can scare them away. Which, we'll get back to that. But in the middle of this, our friend Raptor was giving me side quests again. I have been tasked with killing one of every common mob, two of which I can ignore. I decided to ignore Guardians of Phantoms, and Silverfish were disqualified because they are literally unkillable, much like creepers. Which means I have to kill a zombie, a baby zombie, a skeleton, a spider, a blaze, a wither skelly, a magma cube, and the inner dragon. We can already eliminate the ones that I've already killed in this video so far, which leaves us with five mobs that we need to kill. Easy. While this was being established, I was building a base for the first time in a run, which I'll be using for villager trading. Now, as I said, most of this run was just trading up villagers so I could have diamond gear. Yes, I know keep inventory is on, so there's no point in actually trying to get good gear, but I wanted to abuse it as little as possible and still treat this like dying is bad, so I committed to it anyway. So that being said, I built a base, which is really just a wooden cube, took out a baby zombie for Raptor's quest, and played with fire as I tested how well this cow protect me against a creeper. There you go. Okay, the cat is doing some work here. I have a cat, get away. I have the thing you fear. Oh no! Okay, it, the cat helps. The creepers are still a threat. Am I, is my cat still alive? Oh my god, he is. The cat helps, but he doesn't work miracles. How are you still alive? I'm not complaining, I'm just confused. I mean, good on him, I guess he has nine lives. So, he has eight now. Now it's time to get the villagers. Orange, another friend of mine who is in the chat, suggested the idea of using a fishing rod to get this villager to where I need him to be. But you can? Which felt like a miracle at the time because it was. Okay, this is- alright, this is what we're doing. Thanks, Orange. That's why I stream these challenges now, so chat can carry me. Like I keep saying, most of this run was just villager crap, and that's all boring, so here's just a montage of all of the important moments that happened during stream. Are you restuck? Oh, yeah, let's go! Okay, babies are definitely happening, this is so pog. I, I forgot it was- it's really that easy to make babies in this game. Dear god, do not take this out of context. No, 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 don't clip that, don't clip that! Chat, chat, don't clip that. Wait, hold on, we can, we can talk about this, we can talk about this. God damn it, Raptor, that was so fast! First thing you heard when you sat back down. Oh, I forgot how easy it is to make babies in this game. Power six? Okay, you know what? I'll take power one. Okay, I'm happy about a power one bow. Oh my! Holy shit! That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, um, the cat didn't really do anything, so I think, I think I'll just leave him here. Oh, the creeper broke all my armor, didn't he? <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Look at this mess. I think I'm gonna let this creeper explode as well. I might actually start using these to my advantage. Okay, there goes my shield, though. So that's like... That, that's like an instant gone shield. But it uncovers a lot. That tells me that I should probably be making a few shields. Oh my god. I'm lagging. Oh god, I need to take care of this as quickly as possible. Okay, 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 okay. Really funny, Ian. Really funny. Well, I guess we'll be here for the next 10 hours. Is there anything worth my time in here? Or the gapple, I guess. Bones, just in case. Oh my! There was another one! That is, is that seriously two dungeons right next to each other? When has that happened? Alright. Let's do it all over again. Oh yeah, for sure. Enemy I, I could, I could even cross What the fuck? <laughs> I just got airstrike! No. No, I, I need to take a break for a second after that. I'm gonna go get a soda. I'll be right back. I'll let that one cook for a little bit. What? What was that? Uh, so that's how this run's gonna be, huh? And he instantly broke all my armor as well. That's great. Maybe I don't need the armor. That was so funny. Do I even- is it even worth it to make armor at this point? Yeah, no, honestly, I think I'm just- I think I'm just gonna go armorless. I mean, if I'm getting insta-killed like that, then it's, it's pointless. Turns out, having a nuke dropped on your head can be pretty mind-opening, so I decided to start trying to use the creepers in my favor, given that their explosions are exposing a lot of ores. I see you right there. Oh wait, that's a diamond right there. Oh, there's another one down here. I'm telling you, man, these creepers are definitely helping me more than they are hurting me. Sir, he's not air- Please don't airstrike me. He's gonna airstrike me. Oh, there's so many diamonds down here. Please, not like this. Not like this. There's two diamond veins here that I want to grab. I can grab this one. Okay, cool, I guess. Awesome. Okay, no, these creepers are definitely helping me. Look how many diamonds he's exposing. Yep, there's another one. Nope, nope. That is an ender pearl. Okay, I guess. I also spread out to find some dogs. The main reason I wanted dogs was because I also decided to give them strength 5, which, theoretically, would help significantly in the nether because wither skellies are also affected by this data pack, but I never used them. You may have noticed that we're 13 minutes into the video and we're not even in the nether yet. Try 5 hours. That's how long this whole setup took. I'll spare you the incredibly boring events of chopping wood, trading, chopping more wood, farming sugarcane, farming cows, chopping even more wood, trading with even more villagers, and I have full diamond, let's do this shit. Hope I didn't miss anything important because I cut right through all of that. Which is a great reason to follow my Twitch so you don't miss any important parts I inevitably forget to leave in my videos. Shooting for live every weekend over at twitch.tv slash crimson zero. I'd love to see you there. Remember the sugarcane and the cows? That was all so I can make a level 30 enchantment table, which helped. Out of this, I got a sharpness 4 diamond sword and a prod 4 diamond chest plate. Someone in chat also told me that piercing on crossbows ignores armor, so I vouched to test that theory as well. And with that, it's nether time. Oh, no, never mind. I forgot to make a Burger King crown so the bigs don't attack me. Alright. I would like five whoppers and five more whoppers. Now it's nether time. I wrote down the portal's coordinates and started looking for the fortress. Now, you know what would really suck for this run? If I found the fortress in a soul sand valley. Because you know what spawns in soul sand valleys? Skeletons. And you know what also spawns in fortresses that are in soul sand valleys? More wither skeletons. If the fortress is in a soul sand valley, I'm gonna cry. Like, actually sob on- <laughs> Why? Why did I say that? I shouldn't have said that! No! Why? Well, shit. He kills him so fast, it's so nice. I already see a blit. <laughs> There's gonna be so many of them. I have to deal with overpowered wither skeletons, they're already overpowered! Oh yeah, another fun thing I forgot to mention in the middle of all this, ghasts are completely invisible. So while I was being mentally slapped in the face by the fortress in the distance, I was also being physically slapped in the face by an invisible fireball launcher. Oh god! Okay, well, I don't know where he is. Um, that- that is just something I can't do anything about, unless... Yeah, no, he's moving too fast. I can't do anything about this. <laughs> I literally can't do anything about gas. What am I supposed to do? 
I didn't really think about how awful gas would be, to be fair. I mean, maybe if I just get super lucky. Yeah, no, that's that's never gonna happen. Also, I was lied to about the whole piercing thing. It didn't do anything to the mob's armor. I think that's the least of our worries right now, but I just wanted to keep you up to speed with that. So now, we have to bridge across a lava ocean to get to this fortress, which is really reassuring, considering that at any moment an invisible gas could snipe me off of it straight into the lava. Hey, did you know that the magma cubes are also invisible? Because I didn't. Apparently, the data pack makes magma cubes invisible as well, which I did not know before going into this. Are magma cubes invisible? Um, I didn't make magma cubes invisible, sir. Why are magma cubes invisible, huh? Sniping's a good job, mate. Say what you will about me turning on keep inventory for this run, that was bullshit. If I actually lost all of my diamond gear that I spent five hours getting because the sniper from Team Fortress 2 manifested himself into a blaze, you probably wouldn't be seeing this video. And I would have to buy a new monitor. Also, I respawned to a zombie siege that is apparently happening because of my villagers, but don't worry about that. I'm just- whoa! Oh, what is this? What is this, fellas? Yeah, I forgot the zombies actually- the dogs actually do a lot of damage. After seeing the display of raw strength from my dogs and how easily they took out the zombies, you'd think that I would take them into the nether with me, especially considering that they scare wither skellies away, right? Nah, I still went in as a one-man army. Okay, that guy just ran into the lava by himself. I'll take it. Hey, the magma cube is still there. Okay, that guy committed suicide. Looks like I could still... Okay, kill the magma cube, that one's off the list. Here, let's dig up. I don't like this. This is scary. Right, let's abuse third person here. Um, what am I supposed to do here? There's nothing I can do here. Let, let's be smart about this. We can, we can take a strategic approach here. Instead of just running straight in like an idiot, I went to the other side of the fortress and climbed up the wall, then made a beeline for the nearest safe spot. Here's the generation being a little goofy. And blazes are off the list. I mainly just ran around the fortress while I was still strategizing a bit, but that only worked for so long. Okay. Alright, we've already got four. Oh, why is everything spawning when I'm all the way over here? I have to run back. Ow. Since when can weather skeletons use bows? Okay, no, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. Oh no, all these guys are using bows, so I might be able to just run past here. Or not. Remember how I said I still wanted to treat this like dying is bad? You can see that I'm starting to let it slide a bit. Anyways, it's time to use the tried and true safe house strat. You'd think this is when I would go ahead and bring the dogs with me, but apparently I was too emotionally attached to them to risk having them die yet. So anyways, I gathered some blocks, made a few doors, ran back into the fortress, built a little safe house as quickly as possible, and we're in business. My strategy this time was to peek out of the doors, shoot at the blazes, go back behind the wall when they started shooting back, and click your run outside to scoop up the rods. I did this for like a minute and- uh, oh, I already have enough. Okay. Why did that go so well? Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take an easy blaze rod run. Now we're gonna need to get ender pearls, which is a different beast entirely, but there's a warped four, so we can do it quickly. Now, as always, I decided to take the two ender pearls that I already had to see if I could make any progress finding the stronghold before enderman hunting. I found some beautiful generation, the seed will be at the end of the video like always, but unsurprisingly, the last eye broke before I managed to find the stronghold. I marked the cords and went back into the nether to kill some tall dudes. Now, something I neglected to mention about endermen, they insta-kill you. No matter what you're wearing, I could be wearing full prot four netherite armor and it would still be one shot, so I have to approach these guys very carefully. Dude, it is not worth it to have my armor on here, they're gonna one shot me anyway. Okay, there's seven. Yep, come at me. There we go, oh, that was the one that killed me! Haha, <laughs> Pharma sucks, doesn't it? Where is he? I know as soon as I leave this hole he's gonna jump on top of me and kill me. I know that for a fact. Come on, teleport to me. Why are you just standing there? Here, I'll encourage you. Okay. I teleport over here. There we go, that's ten. Just need two more. Just keep staring at you. There we go. That actually kind of worked. Holy crap. I just need one more pearl. I'm getting really good luck with the drops. Hey, okay, there's thirteen. Well, now that I have enough pearls, it's time to find the stronghold. And I must have stumbled into a backrooms level or something, because I kid you not, it took 20 minutes to find the portal. And you know the best part? Turns out I'm an idiot because all I had to do was turn left twice from where I entered and I would have found it. Kill me. But we're not ready to fight Gene yet. 
We still have a couple more things to do, so I went all the way back home to prepare properly. I forgot to kill a Wither Skelly for Raptor, so I went all the way back to the fortress to assassinate one, which leaves only the Ender Dragon that I need to kill. Remember the F1 video where I forgot that carved pumpkins exist? Yeah, not this time. I actually thought about it ahead of time and got one at some point in the run, and it's a good thing I have the practice with F1 mode so the overlay doesn't get in the way. That's right, we're doing both challenges now. I don't remember when or how, but at some point I found the cat music disc, so naturally I made a jukebox and took it into the end with me, so that way the last thing the dragon hears in her last moments is this jolly little tune. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do they make that so loud? Oh, I gotta restart the music disc. This is this is more important. There we go. Definitely last phase. Oh, she even turned around for me. How kind. There we go. So with that, I stabbed the dragon to death, jumped to the portal, and proved that yes, you can beat Minecraft if every mob is overpowered. The only reason this run took so long was because of me insisting on grinding out villagers for really good gear. Yeah, maybe it was a little bit overkill, especially considering that I was crutching the hell out of cube inventory, but it certainly did make the run a lot easier once we finally got all the villager stuff done. Regardless, as you in the video, if you like the video, like the video, consider subscribing if you're new here, follow my Twitch if you want to see content like this live, and let me know in the comments what you want to see me try next. Bye.